How you guys out there in VSG land? This is VSG Meyer reporting for my week 22 of my vertical sleeve gastrectomy. It's my weigh-in. I'm weighing in again on a Monday because I did it last week on a Monday. Put a little pressure on me, so cool. So, uh, for those of you turning in, tuning in for the first time, I'd like to welcome you as I embark on this lifestyle journey, this lifestyle change, this lifestyle um, <laughs> competition with myself. So I started uh, this journey in March of 2016, um, and my high weight was 430 pounds. I uh, weighed in on my surgery date um, of June 15th, 2016, at a weight of 397 pounds. I'm here today to give you my update. I am down another two pounds, so my current weight now is 294 pounds. So that's great. I'm still losing. Um, I know I'm forgetting something. I said I'm going to do cue cards for myself to not re forget things. But in any event, everything's going well. Um, the date uh, for what I know is today is the 14th of November. November 14th. How do I know this? My cable bill's due today. So if I don't pay that, I don't have any internet. And internet is life okay so um my eating is pretty much um the same getting my protein in um i, I i'm eating eggs again you know one point eggs were tough for me so i'm eating eggs of course i'm eating meats and uh, i didn't get as much water in as i would have liked to this week uh some new things that have happened to me over uh the course of uh, a week since we've spoken um there's this new mannequin challenge thing out and so my kids at school somehow got me to do it. I'm going to post it in this at the end of this video. I uh, did a couple of them, so I'll post the best one. Um, it's pretty cool. It was actually fun, fun experience that I had with my kids that day. Also, um, I uh, joined this little group of uh, guys and gals I grew up with. They have this thing called Million Man Job. Um, and it's this whole health initiative, you know, health is wealth, which really is truthful. You know, you have your health, all of the other things could, you know, play into um, play into part. You know, you could do all type of things as long as you have your health. Without your health, you have nothing. So I joined them this Saturday. And um, what it was is basically a walk, run, any way you can get around this uh, blimp, this blimp park. So the Goodyear blimp has a uh, headquarters here. Uh, in Pompano Beach, and around it, the circumference, yeah, that's a circle, right? Yeah, circumference is 4.4 miles, so it was good. Had a good time. I thought I wasn't going to make it. It started at 7.30, but they waited for me. I got there around 7.45, and they waited for me, so I did appreciate that. I got about a mile and a half uh, nonstop running. I say about a mile and a half because I stopped running short of the uh, 1.5 mile marker, which I'm okay with that on the treadmill. I can run two miles nonstop now, um, but this is the road. This is terrain, so it's a difference. You know, you have the different inclines from the um, from the from the road and you know the trail itself. So that was cool. And me and a friend uh, that I grew up with, we walked the uh, rest of the three miles. Um, so that was cool. We briskly walked it. You know, at a a very you know, high pace, you know, it wasn't any lally gag or anything like that. So it was cool. I plan on doing it next week um, as well. And any weekend that, you know, permits. What's crazy is I got it done in the day before I had abs and chest day. And anybody who's working out know that ab, ab days are, ugh, Lord, I just put my head down for that one. I just father stretched my hands on that one. So um, that worked out well. Another thing that's um, interesting so uh, me and my friends, we, we travel pretty frequently together, and we put together this trip to South Africa. So initially, it was just my wife and I were going to go. It was just going to be pretty much all adults. But one of my friends, um, he's bringing his two kids. So that kind of put pressure, but not put pressure on me to bring my son um, because my son doesn't live with me. So geographically, I was trying to figure out the logistics of how to make this happen. Um, and then from a financial aspect, initially, wasn't going to be able to do it. 
and things worked out and he's going to go on the trip with us now, which is awesome. I'm more excited about this for him than myself because he's never traveled outside of this country. It's going to be the first time. And what a hell of a first time travel to go to South Africa. We're going for like 10 days. Uh, I'm going to try to do a video while I'm there. I am going to work out. So I'm going to try my best to do a video. I don't know how the Wi-Fi is going to be for me to upload it. But in any event, if I don't, I'll have the video and I'll post it when I get back. So we're looking forward to, you know, going on a safari, seeing Sueto, um, where Mandela um, grew up at, and Bishop Tutu, and amongst other people, going to go to Palanisburg, um Safari um, Reserve see the big five of the animals. So that's going to be awesome. Um, I feel like I'm missing something as always. I don't think I'm missing anything. But in any event, I was thinking if I just continue losing two pounds a week for the next uh, 20 weeks, which is when the trip is, that would be another 40 pounds. In the grand scheme of things, 40 pounds in five months is pretty good. So I'll be down in my mid twos. So goodness gracious, I don't know how I look. Also, at the end of the video, uh, I'm going to post um, pictures from the actual um, um, Million Man Jog thing. Um, it's just the group of us, you know, we, we post for a picture at the finish when we're done. So you can kind of get a look and see, you know, my progress of um, how much weight I've lost. And I'm also going to see if I can post the side by side of the most recent from, you know, my heaviest weight till now. So bear with me. Like I said, I'm working on this technology thing. I'm getting a little better at it than I was when I initially started. I didn't know I'd do anything. But thank goodness for YouTube and thank goodness for uh, some people who are able to give me some tips. This is my little family behind me. For those of you who can see, this is, this is us on different little trips and I can't do it, you know, I'm I'm kind of challenged, but it's us at the top and us in Paris and somewhere and somewhere and somewhere. All right, so back. I'm out. Love you. Thank you for tuning in. Spread the word. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting follower happy. I want more followers. I want to inspire more people. Oh, one last thing. Some more people that I know got the surgery recently, and they've been reaching out to me. And I really have become such an advocate for this, and I try to share all the information that I have. So those of you who out there are considering doing this, once you have the surgery, please make sure that you advocate and be a listening ear as well as a mouthpiece of the, the knowledge that you've gained because we want people to get in better health and live longer for their families as well as for their own vanity and things of that sort for whatever reasons they want to do it for basically just to live longer so make sure that you do your due diligence and be that person to help out thanks that girl is a real crowd please small world all the friends know of me